how impressive does it get for Sergei Kovalev? Fourth round TKO, uh, which was probably really a third round TKO the way the referee jumped in. It looked like he was going to stop it right at the end of the third. But no, Sergey Kovalev finishes the job. Fourth round TKO of Nathan Cleverly. Um, I didn't predict it would end that quickly, but we all knew that Kovalev had the power to hurt him. And even in pre-fight interviews, Cleverly mentioned of taking him late because... Uh, and he even mentioned something about weathering the storm. You know, if I weather the storm, I could take, I bring him in the deep waters. You know, that's where I'll take him out. And you, you see the UK commentators making a a big deal of Nathan Cleverly going twelve rounds, four or five times, but he's doing it against bum ass opponents. If you're going twelve, uh, when you can't finish these bum ass opponents out, then how good are you really? And here's Sergey Kovalev, a highly skilled fighter, uh, trained uh, by one of the best in the business, knocking guys out left and right, and these guys are not worried about Nathan Cleverly. Well, in this fight, he clearly bit off more than he can chew, because Sergey Kovalev came out there with a, a solid jab, set up combinations right off the jaw, right off his his beautiful left jab. Uh, disgusting left hooks to the body. He was ripping those body shots, and they were hurting cleverly, because uh, and they were confusing him because he'd rip it to the body and rip it back upstairs. I'm telling you, this guy throws excellent combinations, straight punches, and he can loop them. Not a lot of guys can make that adjustment where he can throw hard punches down the pipe and loop it around because of the way cleverly uh, holds his guard up. Right, he's open for looping punches, and Sergey Kovalev delivered, hurt him badly in the third round as as cleverly stumbled down. And my goodness, I wish I had Kovalev by early stoppage, but I just thought cleverly had enough heart to go six rounds with him. He couldn't even do that much. I wish I put the four to six knockout range because you know Kovalev's the kind of guy that'll take you out early, and he did it. You know, tremendous job with the jab, tremendous job with the body shots, setting up combinations when Cleverly was against the ropes. You know, perfect game plan. Foot movement gave him problems. He slipped Cleverly's jab. He did a lot of intelligent things in the ring while he was whooping that ass. And that's pretty much what I expected from a guy who's a very competent boxing on the inside and the outside. And that's what you really want to see because that's a sign of a complete fighter. Someone that's comfortable boxing at any type of distance. And, of course, he's got one-shot knockout power. That's why you pick Sergey Kovalev. And, uh, you know, I made some money off this fight, which, you know, I can be happy about overall. You know, great action, great fight. Cleverly, he's got to go back to the drawing board, you know, maybe spar some more with Joe Calzaghe, cause, or maybe get some new sparring partners. Who knows? But, um... He's got to regroup and work on that skill because he really didn't show it. And, you know, he and a lot of UK commentators had egg on their face because no one had the balls to pick Sergey Kovalev. So let me know what you guys think. All the gamblers out there who made money on this fight, congratulations. Shout out to Dwyer because uh, it was his recommendation that led me to researching on Kovalev. So that's what it is, guys. Peace out. Take care.